twin sisters, Lori and Reba Chappelle, live remarkably typical lives, considering they have an unusual bond. They are conjoined twins. And though they share a significant portion of their brains, a common blood supply, and identical DNA, they still maintain their unique personalities. We're so different that the only thing we have in common is that we love each other. That's about it. <laughs> Long a source of interest and fascination, this rare biological phenomenon occurs in only about one in 100,000 live births. Of these, only one in four will survive their first day. There are many different kinds of conjoined twins, each presenting unique challenges to survival and mobility. Where they are connected determines which vital organs they may share, the key factor in whether they can be separated after birth. When I found out that the girls were gonna be born conjoined, it was really a scary time, and they just said that your daughters are conjoined. I asked them where, and they said in the chest area. Michelle Roderick and her husband Jeff fear the worst. If their girls share a single heart, chances of survival are virtually nil. And this is the liver uh, joining the two infants. Fortunately, this is not the case. The girls are linked at their breastbones, livers, and diaphragms. They are delivered by C-section without major complications, but there are worrisome signs. Shana wasn't doing so good. She was slower to come around. She was smaller and having trouble. <laughs> Say Janelle in this case would get really mad. She'd start just really throwing a fit. And when she cried so hard, she would actually push the surface blood off of her body and into Shauna's body. And Shauna wasn't crying, and all of a sudden she just would turn beet red. And Janelle looked really scary white. The parents and doctors believe the twins should be separated as soon as possible. The chance of both twins surviving, 60%. The overall surgery was about seven and a half hours. Separating the liver, it took them about three and a half. The operation is traumatic, but the twins survive. Once they were separated, they actually just would throw a fit because, you know, they were used to somebody right there in their face, you know, each other. For some twins, like Shauna and Janelle Roderick, separation and intense reconstructive surgery can lead to great success. I don't think it's very apparent that they were conjoined from the outward appearance. There are a few scars that only are visible if you look for them. Janelle, get off of him! She's like pulling my arm out of the socket! If we were still stuck together, that would be kind of weird. Like, my life would be all like, ugh. You wouldn't be able to do a lot of things. So happy that we're separated. I am at least. You can do whatever you want to do, and you don't have to like be stuck to her. When the risks involved with surgery are too high, however, twins must adapt. Such was the case with the original so-called Siamese twins, Chang and Ang Bunker, who moved to the U.S. from Siam in the 19th century. Attached at the abdomen by a six-inch band of flesh, they stayed conjoined for their long, remarkably independent lives. Chang had a drinking problem. Ang did not. Eng fathered 11 children, while Chang fathered 10. Because of their shared brain tissue, separation was not a possibility for Lori and Reba Chappelle either, and they too have adapted. When I go on a date, she is non-existent. She sits there, she either reads or plays a game or does something. She just totally zones me out. I don't think about being a conjoined twin every day. It doesn't enter my mind unless something or somebody brings it up. I am just an average person living on Earth, trying to do the best I can with what I have. 